Okay, guy, we're taking Dread down, and Aldegas say, let's talk about Interstellar 2014. Mr. Chang gave it an 8 out, 8 out of 10 for Judge Dread. Not Judge Dread, for Dread. Fun, fun. Okay, gang, movie rating Interstellar 2014. What does everyone say about this? Sci fi, uh, it's sci fi. However, I got serious issues with this. Elder God, I hated this movie. <laughs> I love haters. I love it. I love it. Lee, Lee Graham uh, says 7 out of 10. I, I, Lee, is that for uh, Dread or Interstellar? <laughs> Interstellar, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I hated this movie. So, uh, Barfays. Oh, sorry to hear that. Da, da, da. I missed something. I loved Interstellar soundtrack. Ah, soundtrack. I have a friend who watched this movie like once a week. Oh, my. <laughs> Overrated, 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 but not as overrated as Inception or whatever it was, right? I haven't watched it. You haven't watched it, Ali? Yeah, it's sci-fi. Way overrated because it has the woke agenda, it has the climate change agenda, all the jazz in it, right? So they're pushing the art. Greta was probably part of it, right? Advisors. Uh, in Lonely Figure, Interstellar is definitely amazing on the first watch due to its twisted etc but repeated viewing just don't hit the same yeah overrated xenophore says overrated it is first time chat mr biggums uh biggin interstellar betari I don't know what yes overrated the most common comic we're getting is overrated elder god man who wants to save his daughter <laughs> <laughs> Lonely Piggy. Still, Austin Powers is better. <laughs> Temporary Breeze. Greta was the daughter. <laughs> In spirit. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Chiha, I agree. First watch was enjoyable. I actually, you know what? Oh, no, let me re get, get caught up with this. Miss Bloom has, I tried to watch this movie once and the sound was really quiet, so I quit five minutes and it sounds like maybe that was the, for the best. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why you're... <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bingham's Farsi if Matthew McConaughey and then uh, today no stream uh, if Matthew McConaughey wasn't the lead actor it would be a 4 out of 10 for me Elder God Matt Damon the demon <laughs> not one out of the asshole like a total asshole he did a great job with the assholeness of it right <laughs> like seriously oh something the Automat zap lonely figures things uh uh, Drek D, what's your pick? Contact or Interstellar? Both had uh, shitty endings. Ah, uh, they're they're on the same. <laughs> they're they're on the same level. They're on the same level. Uh, they're on the same level. I I would I would probably rate Contact a little higher than Interstellar. I would rate Contact higher. I would rate Contact higher. Uh, straight. Interstellar seems to be on Rumble. Interstellar seems to be a love it or hate it film. And I am that asshole who disagrees with both the lovers and haters and think it's just okay. I think I thought it was just okay as well. Straight. Sending dumb people into space is <laughs> the norm for Hollywood films, not the exception. <laughs> Real anymore. And it amazes me how they send dumb people into... Yeah, yeah. The only thing his son understood his son urge to get the fuck out. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> That's Zimmer, amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love seeing Chicho laugh. It's <laughs> Miss Blue Mass. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> would have been better than it's a, yeah uh, mr chang says the dark N night rises a uh, little bit better than uh, interstellar a little bit better a little bit better <laughs> black, black hole to a bookstore <laughs> oh my god <laughs> to his daughter's bedroom i just can't say anymore hilarious if hans zimmerman didn't make this uh, those scores it'd definitely be six out of ten yeah it's eight out of ten i would give it personally i give it six and a half out of ten uh i would have given a six out of ten the first time i saw it because the first time i saw it the story if i remember correctly i, I don't think i turned it off the story ended in the in him floating in the bookshelf <laughs> and then you know everything got resolved the one i saw i believe it was a director's version and there's an extra 15 minutes at the end where the story continues after that i think i don't remember that from before and the story continued after that. i don't know if i liked it without that part of being in it or with it being in it i like some of the sci-fi but some of the sci-fi was absolutely ridiculous because um, you know i can put aside my disbelief and stuff but if you're approaching light speed black hole, <laughs> but i put all that stuff away i say okay there's the possibility of of things happening in that light i i give it a six and a half out of ten six out of ten right sorry if this is an in uh inter interjection but quick question is the original bray runner in your top ten uh, yeah original bray runner is amazing is it in my top ten probably depending on what it's my it's in my top 10 sci-fi that's guaranteed blade runners in my top 10 sci-fi depending on my mood it would be in my top 10 most likely yeah original bray runners fucking phenomenal right uh <clears throat> the, i try to watch the, oh my god uh, water planet where they they live seven years on earth and one hour where they are ridiculous <laughs> Lone, lonely piggy to be fair i would have left left home and family to go go space trip with anne hathaway too Ooh, yeah 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 oh god he does it all for his daughter and is then asked to leave leave on her uh deathbed please yeah it, it was just i feel so alone loved it <laughs> i loved it i the, i had to put away i liked it as a sci-fi as as a story it could have been like because the premise is fantastic as sci-fi the delivery was just it had major problems in it major problems in it right and hathaway mouth has his own <laughs> don't today no stream says <laughs> hilarious hilarious uh straight on rumble uh, christopher nolan is very hit and miss for me i love memento memento was fantastic In and insomnia insomnia was good thought that the dark knight trilogy was just good not amazing all of his films seem then uh since then have just been meh for me yeah memento fantastic movie insomnia very good movie very good movie very good movie interstellars uh is lackluster austin powers <laughs> lonely picky comes in <laughs> controller said googling and half the way mouth orbit <laughs> hilarious uh, ronnie says i loved inception i hated inception i didn't like it at all i didn't like it at all it is boring i just found it so boring i found all the characters pretentious i didn't care for any of them i wish the whole space would have just folded and crushed them all <laughs> end of movie <laughs> oh they, they all died <laughs> thank you <laughs> come again <laughs> oh my god cooper trades his time with his children for his children to have time with theirs ronnie uh enjoyed wolf on wall street wolf on wall street was fun yeah elder god i also hate inception <laughs> but bar face i would love and Hathaway some grass <laughs> that is all that is all i'm going to say 
Evil Jesse says 7.5 out of 10. Uh, 7.5 out of 10 coming out of Censor 2. What's the movie Nolan did uh, with the two magicians, Christian Bane and. Uh, yeah, that was a good movie. What was it called? Uh, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, I forget what it was called. Perception? <laughs> uh, forgot it also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, prestige, prestige, yeah, the prestige. <coughs> Barfaith, Inception was quite overrated in my opinion. Yeah, like huge. Uh, some decent cinematography, but also felt like baby's first intro to <laughs> Century Me. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god. Michael Caine was the only good part uh, of the movie. Yeah, to a certain degree. It's, it's still, it was okay. Prestige is good, yeah. The Prestige, love that movie, yeah. Fantastic movie. So, gang, I think we trash talk uh, Interstellar enough. Uh, okay, movie. Uh, we got we got seven point five. I'm giving it a six point five. What else do we got for Interstellar? <coughs> what are the ratings? Drop your numbers. Let's let's try to get an estimate. Uh, Real Xenomorph says six point five. Goofy said eight out of ten. Uh, Ronnie said six out of ten, I believe right 8.5 out of 10 8 out of 10 for goofy uh, ronnie says i love the uh, original soundtrack uh laugh out loud says allow me to drop a 9 out of 10 burn <laughs> look god says burn it hell plutonic blur says 4 out of 10 <laughs> lonely Vicky. next vote we run for movies if you all don't vote for my <laughs> Austin Powers will have issues there. Hilarious. And we got a controller Zen 7, 7 out of 10. So average, we're talking about 7, 7.5, 7, 7.5 out of 10. So Emil from uh, Jensen is about the average. 8 is average for me. 8 average. Okay, gang. That's Interstellar. So what do we got next?